Okay guys, so just make sure you have a water bottle handy and a rat tail comb. So I'm just going to begin by sectioning off very small sections of hair and then begin plugging. Remember you never want to just start plugging directly in the front of the frontal. You always want to take out a small row like you see I've done here and then just repeat the process throughout the front. Okay, so now I'm going to begin styling. I'm just going to part the hair down the middle and then I'm going to make some baby hair. some baby hairs remember to not pull out too much hair in my opinion it's better to have thinner baby hairs than thicker baby hairs because thicker baby hairs always look fake okay so now when I pull out my baby hair I like to first slip all the hairs to the back as you saw me do and then I pull the hair out diagonally I don't think you should pull it out just straight across the frontal because I hate when you can see that line of where you pulled the hair from so I found that pulling it out diagonally makes it look a little more natural. Now go ahead and 
you get your styling mousse and just put that all over the top of the frontal. As you see, I'm using a toothbrush here just to brush the hair back. But I'm going to use this mousse to help me um, mold the baby hairs and repeat and go through this process as much as you need to because they may not come out how you want them on its first try. It's something that you kind of have to play around with before you get it just right. Now that I've made my baby hair on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat these steps on the other side. And remember, if you want to see a more in-depth detail on how I do my baby hairs, I'll leave the link to that video down below somewhere. Okay guys, I went ahead and repeated those steps on the other side. As you can see, I have the edges all wrapped up in the bandana and now we're going to begin styling the rest of the hair. So as you can see, I have a spray bottle, but this time it's not just water inside. I went ahead and mixed some sulfate-free conditioner in with my water. This way, all of the hair will get an equal amount of product without getting too much to weigh it down. Because we do want this hair to remain light and fluffy, but not frizzy.
final product. As you can see, the curls are really defined and I'll be sure to insert some clips after this where you can see my edges and how they came out and how the hair looks once it dries. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.